What's up guys? Welcome to Honey Hole Angling. Today we're making gar balls from the gar that I caught in our last video. You guys can check that video out with the little information card above. Um, to start off, you're gonna take your gar meat. We have these, we cut the gar into steaks like this. And so I'm just cutting the gar into small pieces so that way we can put it in a fruit, fruit, into a food processor and uh, get them really small because we're going to basically mix a bunch of ingredients together, make it into a shape of a ball like a hush puppy, bread it, and then we're going to fry it. Sweet. That sounds great. So I have potatoes boiling over here. Zach will show you in a second. And Cut uh, the potatoes. we have all of our ingredients laid out here and we're also going to be making a homemade I forgot what it's called. Tartar sauce? Tartar sauce. Yeah. We're going to be making a homemade tartar sauce. <laughs> Okay, now that I have all the gar meat cut up, I'm going to put it into a food processor to chop it up even smaller. We'll do it like half at a time. Make sure you hold this thing down. It's my wife's words of warning. You want an explosion? No explosions. Okay. So I have a cup of real mayonnaise. This is the tartar sauce recipe. So a cup of real mayonnaise, a cup of chopped dill. Did you do it yourself? No. Yeah. And then we have a quarter tablespoon of ground pepper. We have a tablespoon of onion. One teaspoon. Uh, okay, so a third of a tablespoon of sugar, and then uh, a tablespoon of dill, and then we're gonna squeeze two onions over it. Two, two onions. <laughs> onions. Two lemons. We're gonna make sure we get that seed out of there. Get close of the lemon. some seeds now that we have everything in here mix it up just take a spoon or something to mix and mix everything together you know if you want a thousand island dressing you could just add some ketchup is that the only difference I think so I mean I'm sure there's not as much dill in it but I know thousand island is like relish mayonnaise and ketchup super easy that looks good. Looks like tartar sauce. Scooping some potatoes. I know, you want some ice cream? No, really, not that kind of ice cream. <laughs> I guess you could put gravy on it, sauce. All right, so three cups of mashed potatoes, I mashed them. So I'm gonna get as close to three cups as I can. One. Said about five tomato, uh, potatoes. <laughs> Gosh, I can't talk. Tomato, potatoes. Was about the right amount. And that seems pretty close for the amount that I. So how many cups? Four? Three. Three cups, gotcha. Is right. there any left over? A little bit. Gotcha. So get that out of the way. Then what also goes into the pot is half a cup of onion half a cup of bell pepper is gonna go into the mix. Then we have a quarter cup of flour and we're using gluten-free flour. So this recipe that we are making is gluten-free. Sweet. Then we're adding our garlic powder. Then we also have our Cajun seasoning which we're using Zatarans, which is, uh, according to the ingredients, also gluten-free. We're gonna mix all that together. How much green onion? We have two thirds cup of three onion. Last ingredient to go into the mixing pot. do 
don't spill it. These potatoes are hot. <laughs> So we're making these into a little, maybe like golf ball size. Now that I got everything mixed together, then we're gonna roll it in cornmeal. Just like that. Boom, one down. We're just gonna do this till I roll up all these to a little ball. Sweet. once it's like crap all over my hands. Just try to make a bunch at one time. Oh, that's a big chunk of potato. We'll just... <laughs> that's a chunk of potato. And we need more room. I didn't know it'd be this many gar balls. So I'm, I'm glad you put more oil in there. <laughs> How many do we got? Like maybe three, four more? Yeah, probably. They're not frozen, right? <laughs> no. Oh yeah. That's the stuff, man. That looks great. Oh, let's leave a minute until golden brown? Mm-hmm. I think that's what, 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes, we'll check on them. Sweet. It's looking done. Yeah, I think those look pretty good. We're good. Here we are. You gotta introduce what we're doing? Yeah, we're trying our boudin balls. Homemade tartar sauce. They're gar balls. Gar ball. I've been speaking wrong all night, <laughs> actually. I called onions. Lemons. Lemons. They cook? Yeah. They're really mushy on the inside. They're just like a boudin ball. Mm -hmm. Does it taste like a boudin ball? Close enough. How's the second bite gonna be? Might actually go to the other side and try it with ketchup. Yeah, so yeah, ketchup's probably the way to do it. Mm. Tartar sauce is good. Yeah, tartar better tartar than ketchup. Sauce. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this tartar sauce is pretty good. The yeah. tartar sauce ain't bad, but it is better with the ketchup. Yeah, it probably needs that like sweetness that cuts through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's not fishy. I would have expected gar to kind of, I mean, I know it's kind of a white meat fish. You're right. But I expected it to be a little bit fishier. Uh, yeah. It doesn't taste fishy at all. It tastes like a... Hush puppy. Yeah, I would put it along the lines of a, a white bass almost. What do you think, Zach? Mm. Oh, yeah. It's good with the ketchup. Yeah. The ketchup just sets it off. Yeah, for sure. I eat them again. The tartar sauce is, is good. I just don't think that's, cause you know like, I don't dip shrimp in tartar sauce. Cause no. it doesn't taste right in tartar sauce. No. I just love tartar sauce. <laughs> I like tartar sauce with other stuff. It's a good way to end it. Mm. Man, it's like tartar sauce. Well guys, thanks for watching our video. Like, subscribe, comment down below, Cliff. What's up? <laughs> Any other messages we need to buy our hats? Oh, yeah. Buy our merch. I still need one. So, yeah, probably so. Anyway, guys, we'll see you all in the next video. Cool.